Have you ever wondered why some people seem to have a magic touch when it comes to growing their wealth, while others struggle to make ends meet? It's a question that has puzzled many for ages. The answer, surprisingly, isn't about earning more. It's about managing what you already have more effectively. Wealth accumulation doesn't happen overnight, nor is it about stumbling upon a gold mine. It's a process, a journey that requires careful planning, discipline, and most importantly, wise money management. It's about making every pound count, ensuring that every penny is put to good use. Enter the world of saving strategies, financial tools designed to help you manage your money more effectively. These strategies are more than just saving a portion of your income. They're about making your money work for you, turning your hard-earned cash into a growing wealth pool. Understanding and implementing smart saving strategies is a key step towards wealth accumulation. Saving money might sound simple, but it's a powerful tool for wealth accumulation. So, what exactly is saving? It's the act of setting aside a portion of your income for future use. Instead of spending all your earnings, you keep some in reserve. Sounds simple, right? But why is it so important? Well, saving money provides a safety net for unexpected expenses, helps you reach your financial goals faster, and paves the way for you to build wealth over time. It's the first step on the road to financial independence. Now let's clarify something. Saving is not the same as investing. Saving is a short-term strategy, where you stash your cash in a safe place, like a savings account, where it won't decrease in value. On the other hand, investing is a long-term strategy, where you put your money in assets, such as stocks or real estate, with the hope that they will increase in value over time. While both saving and investing are crucial, saving is the foundation. Without savings, you won't have the capital to invest. Now let's talk about a little magic trick of saving. Compound interest. It's the process by which the interest you earn on your savings begins to earn interest itself. It's like a snowball rolling downhill, growing larger and faster as it goes. Here's how it works. You put your money in a savings account. Over time, the bank pays you interest on that money. Then, the interest you've earned starts to earn interest as well, and so on and so forth. The longer your money stays in the account, the more it grows. This is the power of compound interest, and it's one of the key ways that saving money can lead to significant wealth accumulation. So whether you're saving for an emergency fund, a down payment on a house, or your child's education, remember this. Every dollar you save is a dollar that can grow and multiply over time. Remember, every penny saved today is a stepping stone towards future wealth. There are different saving strategies each with its own benefits and drawbacks. First, we have regular deposits. This strategy is simple. You decide on a set amount to put aside each month. The benefit of this method is that it's predictable. You know exactly how much you're saving and when. However, the drawback is that it requires discipline. If you're not naturally a saver, it could be tough to keep this habit. Next up is automatic savings. This is the set it and forget it approach. You set up an automatic transfer from your checking account to your savings account every month. The advantage here is that it's effortless. Your savings grow without you having to think about it. But the downside is that it's inflexible. If you have an unexpected expense one month, you might find yourself short. Then there's saving windfalls. This means putting aside any unexpected income, like a bonus at work or a tax refund. The good part about this strategy is that it can boost your savings significantly in a short amount of time. But the drawback is that it's unpredictable. You never know when or if you'll receive a windfall. Lastly, we have cutting expenses. This involves reducing your spending in certain areas in order to save more. The upside to this method is that it can free up a substantial amount of money for savings. The downside, however, is that it often requires sacrifices. You might have to give up things you enjoy. Now you might be wondering which of these strategies is the best, but the truth is, there's no one-size-fits-all answer. It all depends on your financial goals, your income, and your lifestyle. Some people might do best with regular deposits, while others might find that automatic savings works best for them. Some might prefer to save windfalls, while others might find success in cutting expenses. 
Choosing the right saving strategy depends on your financial goals, income, and lifestyle. Keep in mind that the best strategy is usually a combination of all these methods. The key is to find what works best for you and stick to it. Saving money is not a one-time event but a lifestyle choice. It's a mantra that, when embraced, can fundamentally transform your relationship with money and propel you towards financial independence. So how do we make saving a habit? Firstly, it's all about setting saving goals. Having a clear financial objective gives your savings a purpose, a destination. Whether it's saving for a down payment on a house, a dream holiday, or a cushion for those unexpected life hiccups, a tangible goal motivates and guides your saving efforts. But setting goals is just the first step. It's crucial to break down these long-term objectives into smaller monthly or weekly targets. This makes the process less daunting and allows you to celebrate small victories along the way, keeping you motivated. Next, let's talk about tracking expenses. It's easy to let money slip through our fingers without even noticing. That's why keeping tabs on where your hard-earned cash is going is a game-changer. You can use tools and apps designed to make this task easier. Or if you prefer, a good old-fashioned pen and paper will do the trick. The point is, to have a clear picture of your spending habits, so you can identify areas where you might be able to cut back and save more. Lastly, the secret sauce to making saving a habit is reviewing your progress regularly. This means checking in on your saving goals, adjusting them as necessary, and most importantly, acknowledging your successes. Each time you hit a saving target, no matter how small, give yourself a pat on the back. It's these small wins that fuel the discipline and consistency needed for long-term saving. Remember, saving is not a sprint, it's a marathon. It requires patience, resilience, and an unwavering commitment to your financial goals. But the payoff is worth it. With each penny saved, you're not just accumulating wealth, you're buying financial freedom. Making saving a habit is the key to long-term wealth accumulation. It's a simple truth, but one that, when embraced, can make all the difference. So, why not start today? Let's recap what we've learned about smart saving habits. We started our journey by pondering the wealth question, understanding that wealth isn't just about earning but also about preserving and growing. We then delved into the power of saving, recognizing that it's not just about stashing money away, but about maximizing our wealth potential. We explored different saving strategies, each with its unique advantages. Whether it's the traditional approach of setting aside a fixed amount each month, or the more dynamic strategy of adjusting your savings based on income and expenses, the key is to find a strategy that works best for you. We also discussed making saving a habit. Like any habit, it's about consistency, commitment, and time. It might be challenging at first, but over time it becomes second nature. And the results? They're well worth it. Remember, the journey towards wealth accumulation starts with a single step. Start saving today.